Hey, thanks for joining us today. We're going to talk about subwoofers once again. I know you're probably sick of hearing me talk about subwoofers, but I, that I'm passionate about it, I make no excuses. Certainly no apologies. Uh, this question comes from Ronald in the Netherlands, and he said, I have a high-end audio system that includes components of PS Audio, KR Audio, Gamut, and a RHEL subwoofer. And for me, the subwoofer is a crucial component. When talking to other audio lovers, always the subwoofer is attacked, like not done for audiophiles, more for home theater. What's your opinion about this subject? Well, those of you that watch these videos certainly know my opinion, and maybe it's time to go into it a little bit deeper. Subwoofers are essential. They are critical. If you are going to be involved in high-end audio, I don't care what your musical tastes are. I really don't. You need a subwoofer. Why? Okay. We can make arguments for and against subwoofers, and the logical amongst us might say, well, hold on. My speakers go down to, oh, 20 hertz. Well, they don't. I don't know of one full-range loudspeaker out there that truly puts those kinds of frequencies into the room in a seated position, okay? They might, if you stick a microphone, as we measure loudspeakers, one meter away from the speaker and you sweep it, you might indeed have a 20 hertz or a 27 hertz or even a 30 hertz signal that is a meter away. But back in your seat, it's unlikely. And even if it did, the place that you put your subwoofers, or, sorry, the place you put your speakers in the room for best imaging and tonal balance is very likely not the right place to produce low frequency bass. Unless you have a built-in subwoofer and, and then uh, into your speaker and then only a few of those actually do any good because you still have the problem of placement. There are tricks we can do with DSP. There are tricks we can do, uh, well, we don't need to get into that right now. But in, in general, you need separate subwoofers that can be maneuvered around or, or electronically maneuvered around in order to, to do what I'm going to tell you needs to be done. And that is the enhancement of realism, okay? If your goal is like mine with a high-end audio system, what you're trying to achieve is a I am there sense. I, I want When I'm playing a live concert, I want to feel like I am there. And if I don't have subwoofers that are properly set up in the room, and we're talking two-channel audio now, if I don't have those, then I can't reproduce the realism that most recordings contain that we never hear. The, the subway rumbling under Carnegie Hall. Most of you probably never knew that there was a subway very near Carnegie Hall. And on many, even some of the old Mercury recordings, if you have subwoofers, if you have a proper system, you can hear uh, in the soft passages of music recorded at Carnegie Hall, you can hear the sub. Now you might say, well, why the hell do I need to hear a subwoofer? I'm sorry, why the hell do I need to hear a subway on my subwoofer? Well, because it isn't so much the subway you need to hear, it's the ambient noise that we use as human beings to tell that we really are somewhere. If you go to a concert and the next time you do, I encourage you to do this. Might look a little weird, but that's okay. As you're seated, as you're sitting down, before everything starts, close your eyes. Just close your eyes, take a deep breath, relax, and listen. Listen to the sound around you, and what you will hear are people's footsteps. You'll hear the ground shaking from people moving in and out. You'll hear musicians walking onto a wooden stage. You'll hear, if, if you listen closely and your ears aren't messed up, the air conditioning system. There are subsonics all around us. 
everywhere that we hear, but we really don't pay attention to. But they're there and in the background. And while we may not pay attention to those, I guarantee you, your inner ear, the brain connected up to all this system through your ears really does pay attention to it. And it's how you tell if things are actually real. So even if you're playing music that has no low frequencies, chamber music, and even if it's not live, there are cues, subsonic cues that you're missing. And for me, I hate missing stuff. If there's buried treasure on a CD or a record, I want to get it out. I want to hear it. I want all I paid for in my recordings. Part of that is the realism caused by subsonics that can only be reproduced by a decent subwoofer maneuvered around the room. And it doesn't have to be a big subwoofer. It could be a 10-inch, uh, you know, that rels are my favorite, but there's plenty of fine subwoofers out there. Anyway, enough about subs. Thank you very much for the question, and um, we'll talk again later. All right, bye-bye. Thank you.